What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome back, and happy freaking Friday. That is right, everybody, it's finally Friday. So guys, today, today's mod showcase brings us not to Skyrim, but to Cyrodiil. That's right, you guys. So this is the first mod add-on, I guess you could say, that I've seen uh, for the whole entire uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod. So... It requires you to have the whole entire Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod installed, which it's it's a doozy. That's a big freaking mod uh, to have this home, uh, this player home. But it adds a player home inside of Cyrodiil, and it's right here. Water view Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil. And check this out, you guys. Here is the description for you guys. You got gorgeous views of the Imperial City. You have a stable, working forge, a beautiful little pond, very large garden, a double bed for your tired adventurer, plenty of storage for all your foodstuffs and ingredients, Red Mountain coffee beans are now available, as well as tea and many recipes for both, uh, working furniture, uh, like the butter churn, and soap pot, coffee tea pot, cutting tables, spinning wheel, working shower. It's crazy, guys. And it says, note, you must hit the shower button twice the first time you use it. Good to know. Alchemy area, enchantment area, weapon plaques, new recipes, meals, food, and crafting objects. And another huge feature is you can create meals, sit down, and enjoy a few moments watching your character eat a full meal. Pretty freaking cool. So you guys can read the rest of it if you want. But this mod just looked awesome awesome from the thumbnail and all that stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and check this bad boy out so on the map in in Cyrodiil and stuff like that so it's a little bit different obviously than Skyrim but it actually already has a marker water view right there it's right by the lake Bruma is right there you just got to come down to here let's see you've got Anga you've got Shrine of Namora you've got Plundered Mine all that stuff guys just find the main river and follow it all the way down and then you'll run right into it, guys. So, outside, looks like we got a nice little smelting area. Hello there, little smelter. And a big forge. Very, very nice. And I like the openness of the outside. Look, it looks pretty cool. And then we got a nice little area over here with a gut. Hello there. And apparently you can milk her. Okay, I just milked the goat. <laughs> that works. How many times... Okay, whoops. Uh, Alright, so I guess it would probably be... Uh, every once in a while, you'd be able to milk your goat. But this is just so nice. The frames have dropped a little bit, but that's probably because this is a mod and we're installing an add-on into a mod. But then again, it could also be a confliction with my with my load order. But I'm not sure. It's not that big of a deal. But look at this. Got a nice little dinner table out here with some growing beds. Very nice. And here's that massive farm the mod description was talking about. Holy crap! God, it wasn't even kidding. This place is huge. So you can absolutely grow a ton of stuff in here. That's so damn cool. You know, that's one thing that I'd never really gotten into with, with Skyrim, was the whole farming aspect of it. Maybe I could with this place. Got a nice little cooking pot right here. Oh, that's a soap pot. Okay, so you make your soap outside. So let's see, you need charcoal, blue mountain flowers, and troll fat. For that one, you need butter, honey, troll, flat, troll fat, and charcoal. And troll fat, charcoal, and lavender. That's so cool! So you can make all sorts of different soaps outside. That's pretty nifty. And I assume they'll probably give you a bonus or something like that, or they'll clean you off or something. Something along those lines. But let's see, I think I need to take that real quick. And I need to feed my guy because he's, he's being a little... Being a little, uh... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, high maintenance right now. He needs to eat something. And we'll just eat all those carrots. Wonderful! All right, so outside, we've got the Solitude Shield, we've got the White Run Shield, that looks so nice. Brings a little bit of Skyrim flair to the Cyrodiilic home. And I like this little deck back here. Oh, you know how I love my decks. <laughs> oh my goodness, but let's see, we got a nice wood chopping block, very cool. But let's go in through the back door first. Oh my goodness, holy cow. Look at this. You've got the custom storage with every single ingot you could possibly need. You've got leather right there. Custom paintings. Dude, look at this nice little jar. That's kind of cool. That's a custom texture if I've ever seen one. 
Nice spot for staves, arcane enchanter, soul gems. Staff enchanter, very nice to see. Weapon racks. Oh, that's nice. That's a neat little nook. I like that so much. Got some fresh linens right there. Oh, I like this little corner. Look at this. We got a spinning wheel. Now what can you make here? <gasps> what? You can make blankets. You can make washcloths. You can make rags and green cloths. What is this, dude? That's crazy. And it's a damn spinning wheel. That's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Got a nice little Shrine of Zenithar scroll basket. And then look at this. You've got all sorts of uh, Cyrodiilic and uh, Skyrim, uh, what are they, ingredients and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff is from Cyrodiil down here. But then you've got kind of a nice mix. you got the giant lichens and the glowing mushrooms and lavender and all that stuff. Very, very cool. Got a nice spot for potions. That's a storage box in itself. More ingredient. Oh, that's so nice. And then here's the rest that don't have their own specific kind of sorting area. But it looks like most of this is sorted out, you know? Oh, god dang it. I love the custom storage boxes that you see in a ton of these home, uh, in, in a ton of these homes. Just so nice. Got a nice little room inside of here. Very nice. And I love all these little, like, mannequins. Like, look at that. That's so cool. Activate Shrine of Talos. And then let's see, let's go in here first. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this hearth. Oh my gosh. Tons and tons of storage for weapons if you want to put them up. And I love these little arrangements. It's like little wheat and blueberries and stuff like that. That's so nice. Search fruit bowl. You can put fruit in your bowl. Got a bookshelf right there. A big chest for all your stuff that you need. And then activate shower. So this is kind of, it kind of acts as your master bedroom and your master bathroom all in one. And that's kind of cool. The way this looked, I I could have sworn it was a, a, um, a what, a false back panel, but it's not. Alright, now let's turn this bad boy on. It said you gotta push the button twice. Oh my god, look at that. And I just drank the water. <laughs> now, I assume if you had some soap, you could wash yourself with it, but not sure. Oh, that's so nice. God dang it, dude. That's so nice. And I love this little drain. That's so cool. God, the mod author has such an eye for detail. And look, you can store your soaps and your washcloths. That's so cool. Oh, and you got a nice little, nice little spot here for books. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this little spot in here. And we are indeed going to keep this mod installed. This will act as our home in Bruma, which is pretty cool. I wish I would have found this at the beginning, you know? <laughs> so we got a butter churn right there. Very cool. Got a milk jug, cream jug, cheese, wine collection, jams. Oh my god. Butter crate, clothes iron. What? That's so cool. Got a nice... Oh, look at this. Here's your teapot. Oh my goodness, look at this. You can make tea with milk and sugar, tea with milk and honey, tea with milk, tea black, coffee with cream and sugar, coffee with cream, coffee with black brandy. That's kind of cool. And look, it gives you certain things. Restores points of stamina, restores points of health. That's kind of a nice thing. Coffee sack, red mountain beans, that's cool. Got a nice big cooking spit right here. And it's boiling, look at that. How nifty is that? And then right here we got all of the storage you could possibly need for all the things you've got to grow outside. And that I love so much. The fact that this can this can turn into like a farmhouse is so damn cool. Custom paintings over here. Lots and lots of storage for uh, use cutting board. Look at this. Oh my god, this place literally has everything. Oh my god, you can grow watermelons, tomato slices. Dude, you could straight up make everything here. And that, like I said, there's a ton of places to store weapons and armor and shields. All of that stuff is crazy cool. Oh, this is so pretty. We might have to utilize this and grow some stuff here. 
Now, unfortunately, the mechanics and stuff like that, I'm not going to showcase here. I just, it's more of like a, an overlay in an overshow or a showing of what is here. But if you guys want to see all the mechanics for yourself, I highly, I highly recommend downloading the, uh, the whole entire Bruma mod and then this mod with it. Because this just makes it so much cooler. Because from the beginning of the Bruma mod, you'll have a place to come to and hang out and, and live. And that's just so cool. You could just basically become a citizen of Cyrodiil. And I really, really like that. So it looks like that is all this place has to offer. Let me go ahead and double check the mod load order and make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, you guys, so it seems that is pretty much everything this little place has to offer. There is a pond nearby, plus you have the lake right, or the river right next to you, but I believe in the mod description it said something about a little lake nearby your home, or a little pond, rather, that had a ton of alchemical ingredients growing in it, but I haven't been able to find it unless it's down, it's probably right there. In fact, I bet you that's what it is. I'm not sure though, that might be something else. But let's just check, just in case. Okay, there are certainly ogres down here, so maybe this isn't the spot to come to. <laughs> but, guys, I would highly, highly suggest you download this mod. If you are one for the custom everything in, in Skyrim, being able to co being able to cook, being able to farm, being able to just live in Skyrim and get immersed in the ground and in the lore and everything like that, you guys. I would highly suggest downloading this mod, especially if you're just starting out in Bruma, because like I said, it'll give you a place to start out with, it'll give you a place to come home to at nighttime after your adventures are over, and it's such a neat little thing just to come home to. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And guys, I will see you in the next video.